Hello and welcome back to Trading with CJ. Now I've been asked a few times now what positions I hold in my personal portfolios. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see me show you my, one of my portfolios. It's something I've been considering doing, so I may well do that in the future. Like I say, let me know down in the comments below. But today I'm going to go through my top three stocks that I own. And this isn't necessarily in terms of profits or returns. This is in terms of position size within my portfolios. Now, before we get into it, I want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. And if you are planning on investing into the stock market, you should always do your own research first. Now, I really appreciate if you hit a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out. So let's get into it. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on these because I'm pretty sure most people have heard of these companies but I will cover them a little bit. So my first stock up, which is my third largest holding, is ticker symbol MCD, that is McDonald's. And if you don't know what McDonald's is, then I don't know where you've been living because McDonald's is the largest restaurant chain in the world. And I recently covered them in one of my recent videos, which is top three stocks that I'm buying slash own at the moment. And McDonald's is one of those stocks. So if you want to check that video out, I'll leave a link in the description below. I go a little bit more into their financials, etc. Now, as I already said, this is the largest restaurant chain in the world. Aside from this, though, it also has a huge amount of real estate. Now, McDonald's years ago used to be referred to as just a burger chain, but nowadays they have a little bit of everything. They have fish options, veggie options, etc. And this is constantly expanding all the time. There is something in there really for pretty much everybody. Now, in terms of their share price, last year it's had a 52-week 52, 52 high of $221 per share. Now, that's obviously dropped somewhat at the moment, just like most stocks out there, and it's slowly recovering again. I personally think this company could be a company that's worth $250 plus in years to come. So, in my opinion, this is a really good buy. It's a solid company. Now, I'm quite happy with my position size in this company. Like I said, it's my third largest holding, so I'm not really looking to get any more at its current price, although I do think if you haven't got a part of this company, the current price is a good price to get in at. But if it does drop some more, then I may well add to my position. Now, my second company and second largest position is CCL, Carnival Cruise Lines. Now, Carnival Cruise Lines has been one of my favorite companies for a very long time, and when it dropped that 90%, and it's been one of the most talked about companies ever since, I couldn't help resist but get involved and get some shares in CCL at this extremely low price. Now, I actually hold the London and US stock exchange versions of CCL, so I'm doing a combination here of the two, making it my second largest position across my portfolios. Now, I recently did an analysis video on TCL, so I'll leave that in the link in the description below. I go into a lot more detail and we look at their fundamentals, etc. So feel free to check that out as well. Now, just to give you a brief summary here of CCL, it's Carnival Cruise Lines and it is the world's largest cruise line operator. And as you can imagine, due to what's gone on, it has been hit massively. None of the cruise lines are running at the moment, so it's at extremely low prices. It was trading at a 52-week high of around $53 per share, and then it dropped to, wait for it, $7.80 per share. What a huge drop. And if you did get in at that price, congratulations, because you've already made over a 100% return, which is just huge. Now, I personally wish I stocked up a hell of a lot more than I did at those really low prices. So at its current share price, I won't be adding any more into CCL. I'm quite heavy on them and I am overall in profit. So I'm happy with that position. And unless it drops again to something I'll consider getting in at, I probably won't be investing any more into these for now. Now my third stock up here and my largest holding across all my portfolios is, drum roll, Disney. Now Disney out of all of my stocks is by far my favorite. Now, I may even lose a follower here or two, but I'm not even a big fan of their movies, of the Disney films. But as a company, Disney have got it all. Now, Disney have got so many different revenue incomes. They've got their theme parks, their cruises, their movies. They even own ESPN, which is sports. They've got their streaming service. They've literally got it all. What's not to like? Now, as you can imagine, Disney have taken a massive hit because pretty much all of those revenue incomes has grinded to a halt over the past few months, uh, minus the online streaming service, Disney+, Plus, which once again is a relatively new platform. 
but all of these uh, different income services, I feel like they are a stable company and they will definitely get back, they will bounce back over time and hit where they was, if not higher. Now the only downside to this company, in my opinion, is the fact that I didn't get more when it was at those nice low prices. I managed to get in a little bit at the $97 price, and to be honest, I wish I got a lot more because then I started averaging up. So if it ever did get back down to below $100, I will 100% be buying more into Disney. But for now, I'm happy with my position. It's my largest position, and I have no doubt that this company will bounce back and be in profit again. So there we are, that's my three largest positions across my portfolios at the moment. As we know, obviously things can change at any time. We've seen the stock market this year, it's very unpredictable. Now if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe to my channel, it really is appreciated. Let me know in the comments below, do you hold any of these companies? Will you consider buying into some of these companies? Let me know. Thanks for watching and until next time.